uh, it's very nice to be with you and in this very intimate space, which uh, is lovely. I mean, obviously, usually when I'm singing, I'm in churches, which are much larger. So to be in an intimate space like this is, is really good. And um, so just, just a little talk to you before I start, uh, explain a few things to you. Um, first of all, Nelson is my guide dog. And Nelson has been with me since the end of 2009. And um, so he went through all of the earthquakes with me and all of that that those of us who were in Christchurch at that time experienced. And he's a very calm dog. So that when we went through the earthquakes together, I just spoke to him in the first one, you know, the, the morning, the early morning one, I spoke to him as if he was just like a little child that you say, it's all, it's all right, it's okay. You know, don't worry. Meanwhile, I was very worried, of course. But being able to talk to a dog while you're going through that, you can imagine, just takes the um, attention away from other things that were going on. So um, he's been with me. He's coming towards the end of his working time with me because when he's 11, he will be retired. And so they're now looking for another dog for me. I'm hoping they won't hurry because I want, him, I want him to keep going with me for as long as possible. Um, and he's in good health and uh, he's still doing his work well. So um, he's my second dog. Tiger was my first. And uh, so just coming towards the end of our working time. But he will stay with me as a pet. So, so I'll have two dogs, my new dog. And I'll have Nelson as my pet dog. And Nelson's a very accommodating He's a very accommodating dog, so I'm sure it's going to work out fine. Um, just a word about the Braille that I'm using. This is Braille Music. Um, and the way it works is that the, the right hand index finger reads the words, and the left hand index finger reads the music beneath it. And so Louis Braille, who, who devised the system of Braille um, for us, the code of Braille, very clever man, and he worked out a system for music which means that all of the print music notation has a Braille music equivalent. And so, for example, my first note that I sing, which happens to be D above middle C, it's written here as an octave, a fourth octave mark, D minim, and so we don't have the five line stave as you do in print music, we just have octave markings to tell the, the person whereabouts we're starting from. So right hand reads the, the words, left hand reads the music, and um, that's pretty much how that works. Now the final thing to say is that this piece of music is by Vaughan Williams, Love is the title, and it is one of five mystical songs <laughs> the poetry of George Herbert, the great English mystic, 17th century English mystic, and he was um, an Anglican clergyman. And I might just read you the poem. You haven't got the poem printed, have you? No. I'll read you the poem. Well, shall I read it? Oh, no, no, so I can read from the Braille. So um, uh, this poem is it's a conversation between our Lord and the penitent. So the penitent has come to heaven and is not feeling worthy to be there. And so our Lord is hosting the penitent and saying, you know, um, come and join in the celestial banquet. So these are the words of this poem, love, and when it refers to love, it's actually referring to our Lord. <clears throat> love bade me welcome, yet my soul drew back guilty of dust and sin. But quick-eyed love, observing me grow slack from my first entrance in, drew nearer to me, sweetly questioning if I lacked anything. A guest, I answered, worthy to be here. Love said, you shall be he. I, the unkind, ungrateful, Ah, my dear, I cannot look on thee. Love took my hand, and, si and smiling did reply, Who made the eyes but I? Truth, Lord, but I have marred them. 
Let my shame go where it doth deserve. And know you not, says love, who bore the blame. My dear, then I will serve. You must sit down, says love, and taste my meat. So I did sit and eat.